President Volodymyr Zelensky said Friday it's important that Allies' aid to Ukraine doesn't decrease next year as he received a pledge of a new weapons package from German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on a European tour meant to win backing for his victory plan aimed at ending the war with Russia. Zelensky arrived in Berlin after stops Thursday in London, Paris and Rome on a tour arranged after a planned summit Saturday with US President Joe Biden and other Allied leaders was derailed by Hurricane Milton. Scholz noted that Germany is Ukraine's biggest military supporter in Europe and the second biggest behind the United States, and said, it will stay that way. The Ukrainian leader has yet to publicly detail his proposals for victory. But the timing of his efforts to lock in European support appears to have the looming US election in mind. Former President Donald Trump has long been critical of US aid to Kiev. Ukraine's stretched and short-handed army is currently under heavy pressure in the country's eastern Donetsk region. Russian forces recently pushed it out of the Donetsk town of Volodar and are now in control of about half of nearby Toritsk. To stop the losses, Zelensky needs to secure more help. In Berlin, he said that Ukraine would want to end the war no later than in 2025. This plan is a bridge to hold a productive peace summit that will truly put an end to the war, he said adding that Ukraine can only strengthen its position against Russia through cooperation with Western partners. Europa, der zweitstärkste in der Welt. Und dabei wird es bleiben. Для нас дуже важливо, щоб і наступного року допомога не зменшилась. Я хочу подякувати за те, що ти зараз вже анонсував щодо нового пакету і ще майбутнього пакету з допомогою також наших партнерів. Нам дуже важливо думати про наступний рік, щоб обсяг не зменшився і був достатнім для захисту людей і життя. І ця зустріч, мабуть, одна з найважливіших. Сьогодні я представлю Олафу план, як, на нашу думку, примусти Росію до миру, тобто як завершити цю війну, хотілося б не пізніше, ніж у наступному, 25-му році, і гарантувати не повторення агресії. Цей план є мостом до проведення результативного саміту миру, який дійсно поставить крапку в війні. Тобто цей план не на заміну нашій мирній ініціативі, а щоб саме посилити позиції України заради наближення до миру. Ми можемо зробити це у взаємодії. Всі наші партнери розраховуємо і на підтримку Німеччини. Former President Barack Obama took to the stump in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to campaign for Democratic presidential hopeful, Kamala Harris Thursday. Obama said he was heartbroken over the loss of life from two recent hurricanes that struck Florida and other states in the South. He said, it's times like this when you realize having an honest, competent leadership in government really matters. It makes a difference. Trump and Harris are both visiting key swing states strategically this week, trying to increase support with key voting blocs who could decide an election expected to be exceedingly close. Obama made his first appearance for Harris at Thursday's rally in Pittsburgh. Obama's team says he will focus on swing states, especially those with key Senate races. With Democratic Senator Bob Casey sitting nearby, Obama urged attendees at the rally to keep Casey in office. He also plugged other Democratic office seekers in the Keystone State. Are you fired up? Are you ready to go? Uh, it is good. It is good to be back in Pennsylvania. It is good to be back in Pittsburgh. I, I love Pittsburgh. I did want to say that we are 
you know, heartbroken about the loss of life in Florida, North Carolina, states across the Southwest. We are thinking about people, families whose lives have been upended by the storms over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I could not be more grateful for the first responders and FEMA professionals who have put themselves in harm's way to try and help. You know, it, it, it's times like this when you realize having honest, competent leadership in government really matters. It makes a difference. This election's gonna be tight. Because there are a lot of Americans who are still struggling out there. They're still striving to make life better for themselves, for their families, and for their kids. And, and let's face it, as a country, we've been through a lot these last few years. We had a historic pandemic wreaking havoc on communities and businesses. Disruptions from the pandemic then caused prices to spike, and that put a strain on family budgets. And in many ways, it's felt like the aspirations of working people have taken a back seat to the priorities of the rich and the powerful. So I get it why people are looking to shake things up. I mean, I am the hopey, changey guy. So so I understand people feeling frustrated and feeling we can do better. What I cannot understand is why anybody would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you, Pennsylvania. I don't understand that. 